Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on the VN app. I'm just going to run you through some of the basic controls so that you can jump in and use this app if it's it's the one you choose. I've got more detailed tutorials about the full workflow of putting together an interview-led video. Um, so if you want that, then look at the iMovie tutorial or the KineMaster tutorial. So here at VN, to get started, we just go down to the bottom of the screen on this project play, uh, page, press plus and then press the blue new project button. And you want to just pull in your first clip to start. That's how you start your project. I'm gonna to go to my folders up at the top left, recents, and then scroll down to folders. It's a good idea probably to put your footage into folders to make your edit easier so you can find all the material that you need. And I'm gonna select this interview clip. So I just tick the, the box, or the, sorry, the circle to the top left, press the bottom, the arrow at the bottom right and there it is and this is the interface I'll just give you a quick run through we've got the preview window here where we see the kind of assembled clips and what the final video is going to look like underneath that we've got the play bar and the forward and back buttons that will take us all the way to the end or the start of the project or once I start putting edits in here it will move me through clip by clip um, and get me to the point that I want to be. I've also got the undo buttons and the redo and the time code here on the left hand side that just tells me whereabouts I am in the project. Underneath that we've got all the, the layers, all the timelines and the white line running through this is called the playhead and that's where you, you move the playhead to the section of the timeline that you want to work on. The bottom layer here is where you would build your main narrative. So you'd put your interview or your presenter who is delivering your main message of your video. The layer above that is going to be another media layer probably. So your cutaway footage or maybe some photographs, that's what you'd bring in at that section just by tapping on the plus there. Then you've got your text layer up above that. And then above that, you've got your music layer when you want to come and add that towards the end of your project. And... Down along the bottom is the toolbar. So, for example, whatever footage is highlighted in the yellow bar there, uh, you can make changes to it by tapping on a tool. So if I tap on filter, I can add a filter to that footage and I can change the intensity of that filter using the slider at the bottom and then I can apply that to all my clips or just to one clip or take it off completely. The ones that you'll use most would be the split tool and that's obviously where you um, do your edits, that's where you cut. So we'll move the playhead to the point you want to make a split, let's say just at the start of this interview. We just scrub through using our hand, using our finger on the timeline and find the point where you want where the interview starts. Leave the playhead there and then press on split. And then we can delete that clip that we don't want. So that's the other tool that you'll probably lose quite use quite a lot, the delete or the dustbin there get rid of the bit that you didn't want and you can do the same at the end of your interview come to the end where all the talking stops press the scissors tool and then now highlight the bit at the end that you don't want just by tapping on it and click delete and you can make the same edits in the middle let's say there's a whole section in the middle that you don't want we can uh, tap on the split tool then scrub along and move to the end of the bit that we want to cut press split again and then this section in the middle we can highlight and delete. If you want to work more closely it's the same as any other editor just um, if you want to kind of zoom in on the timeline if you like you just pinch that screen so you can work in more detail you kind of stretch out the timeline and you can see how close in it goes and how precise you can get with the edit because the times show at the bottom there so you can move frame by frame through all this footage and put, put the split exactly where you want. It's a really accurate editor. And then you pinch in to squash the timeline so you can see everything at once. So that's how you would continue to work through and edit your interview footage, uh, taking out the bits that you don't need, um, cleaning up those edits by zooming right in close. And of course, what you also might want to do is you might find there's a bit in the middle that you actually want to move and you might want to change the order. You can do that by just touching and holding on the clip, lifting it out there, just keep touching it, and then slot it in wherever you think it should go. You just kind of hover over the gap and it will slot it in for you.
So that's the next stage, adding your cutaway footage. And the way that we would do that is, again, just move the playhead to the point that you, you want to add that footage. Press plus either on the icon or you can just tap anywhere on that timeline. I'm going to go to my folder again, my album, and I'm going to bring in a cutaway clip of the guitar playing. And it just drops it on top. Now this is 28 seconds, so obviously I want to trim that down and I can just scrub through and just work in the same way as I would have done um, on the, the first layer of this. I can either use the split tool as I've already shown you or I can just grab the handles at the end here and drag everything in until I get to the, the movement. I'm going to just start that clip here. And of course, with the cutaway footage as well, probably what you want to do is come down to your toolbar straight away, click on volume on and turn the volume are, off. Um, to and um, you don't really want volume on on your cutaway footage. Scrub along a bit further, click split, tap this to highlight and delete and get rid of that. And you can keep on working through. If we just move the playhead to the right point, let's add another bit of cutaway footage. this time of um, some singing. And the thing to look out for when you've added cutaway footage is that there's no gap. This should be hard up against because we don't want to just randomly suddenly flash back to the interview and then back to the cutaway. We want it all to be seamless. So touch and hold to move this along. And you can either have them hard up against each other or what's quite useful is to have your cutaway footage um, overlapping slightly. And that lets you add a transition. So if we just overlap that, coming from the guitar to the singing and then let's add on the singing from this pop-up box here add motion and we're going to add a fade and maybe make that a little bit slower drag that that up here and then apply and then what we've got is coming from the guitar and then fading to the next cutaway of the singing We've still got some of the interview underneath that, which we don't want. So we want to either change the duration, uh, speed it up a little bit, or you could, of course, uh, drag the footage a little bit more to the left to make sure that that disguises the interview and we don't see that popping up again. OK, so once you're happy with your cutaways, you're happy with your interview, the way you've edited it, you maybe want to add a lower third here. So we'll add a title. On the, the third layer, press plus and you get your options. You can use one of the kind of presets here. I would maybe just usually select either the standard one or the second one in for a lower third with the name and description. And then you can add the person's name and their, their job title and then make all the necessary changes. Drag it to the right point on the screen. You can drag it anywhere you want. You can make it whatever size you want, shrink it down by dragging the arrow on the right hand side. You can, of course, rotate it if you wanted it to be at an angle. Uh, if we tap on it again, then it will bring up our text and font option. I can change one of the preset fonts that are here or I can press plus and bring in another font from a file uh, that I've um, already imported onto my, my phone. I can change the color, of course. And once you've got your colour, so if you've got your brand colour in there, let's say it was this one, I can put in my colour here and then I can just click add colour and the tick. That will not only change this one, but it will add this here as a, a preset at the end here so that for the rest of the project, I can always find the exact colour that I want. Finally, music. If we tap here, there's a few options for music. I could record a voiceover if I wanted. Um, just directly onto the timeline. I could add special effects. There's a little special effects library, but most commonly you probably want to add some music. Now you can take the music from within the app. There's about seven tunes in vlog, seven in pop and seven in dynamic. So that's fine for getting started, but you probably want to come up to the top right eventually go to my music and bring some royalty free music that you've downloaded from an, another source in. So you can do that. Maybe you've downloaded it onto iTunes or whatever media players on your phone that that should show up um, down here and you can access it. I'm going to take a, a track just from the preset tracks that are on here. So let's say I take make a fresh start, use 
and I can set the volume at this point. So it's on an interview video, so I'd probably drag the volume all the way down to 20%. I could have it fading in or fading out or neither. I might just have it fading out by three seconds. And if you've made a mistake with anything, it's just tap on the clip and you can either make some changes um, here. You can just directly affect the volume here or you can click and go to your options and come back to this main page and, and adjust your beats and adjust different aspects.